If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Blast. <laughs> Former everything uh, with the blast uh, from 1980 all the way up until the uh, early 90s. Second year of the team. You uh, come into my office one day and you said, you're going to love this new guy that we're going to get. This guy's going to score a bunch of goals. We're going to, this guy's going to take us, uh, you know, we're going to have a championship with this guy. And you brought Joey Fink in to see me one day. And when he left the room, I'm like, oh my God, this, this is the guy that's going to score goals? This 155 pound, six foot, looks like he's couldn't knock over a feather. This guy's going to be the guy that scores goals. And he was, without question, one of the best players I ever seen especially around the goal. When the ball was loose, he could get a foot on it, it was in. Yeah. And he just had some magical, magical nights and really was the first marquee guy that we signed who started to make a name for himself in the community. You know, the people yes. knew who Joey... When Joey Fink went to PJ Crickets after the game, he didn't pay for a drink. He didn't know, He didn't have to pay for a meal. He was the first star we had. Yeah, well, that's a did ever pay for a drink. Well, that's so true, what's yeah, the right. difference there, right? Uh, very well said, because Joey Fink is what I like to call a clinical finisher. Uh, Joey Fink never hit the ball with a lot of power. It was always his instep, either feet, and he could put it... It was a kind of a... If you wanted to ever do a soccer demonstration of how a striker should score goals, Joey Fink should be the guy. What he also had was a, an amazing quick turn of pace. He'd go to a second gear, which is getting by people, right? But he was, I always looked at Joey as an introvert as a person, an extrovert when he stepped on the field because he loved to score goals. And uh, he was up there in Philadelphia with David Mike Williams. They had, a, they had a great dynamic duo, as you know, and they played well together with Facebook, bringing them both. So yeah, Joey was very instrumental in, in getting us to the next step. And, and you're right, he kind of, in a way, took over a little bit from Seth. He became very marketable. But Joe is, what I've always wanted, is an athlete who became a businessman. Right, and I believe Joe is doing very well with today. Yeah, yeah, doing very well. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.